Hello everyone and welcome to Pamela and Johnny's Motorhome Journeys. Um, today we are changing the horn in our motorhome because our one is very very low. So Johnny is soldering two wires together to make them longer for the horn. There's the horn there, a little black thing right there and there's the wires. So that's what he's at now, soldering them to make them longer. So what Johnny is doing now, he's putting on a heat shrink wrap and that's what does that do? It insulates the thing and seals it against the weather as well. It insulates the wire and uh, seals it against the weather. So that's that little, little black thing there. That's what he's at there now before he puts it underneath the bonnet. So here's the sound of our horn. Oh God. <laughs> Jesus, it's very, very hard. It, it won't work, will it not? Oh. I, I'm not sure. Maybe you have to have the engine on. Oh, the dead, the dead man's switch was on. Oh, no. <laughs> no, horn is not working. Oh, we thought it was the fuses and it wasn't the fuses. So now it's working. Little small bad connection. It was a ba bad connection, was it, Johnny? Yeah. Ah, so that's what it was, guys. Here's where all your fuses are. If you have a feed to cattle, zero, zero. That's where all your fuses will be in the glove box by the passenger <coughs> side. So that's it now. We'll fit the new horn. I don't know if you can see, guys, but um, this is the old horn. So that's what he's going to try and change. Um, and here's our new horn, this here. So we'll see what that'll be like. This, this is one of our handy gadgets that we bring with us um, everywhere. It's in the camper van the whole time. It's a big socket set and you have everything you need in here, you know, especially if you have any. 32 socket, up as far as the 32 socket. Up as far as the 32 socket. From a number four to a 32 socket, is it? And the long reach one there from long reach uh, six up to nineteen. Long reach socket says six up to nineteen. But it's a handy. And there's a plug spanner Yeah, plug spanners and you know, it's handy out. Just while Johnny is doing that, lads, I'll show you what else we done this morning. Um we changed all these blue trims that are um along the camp camper van. You get them on eBay. Uh, our old ones were all perished. There they are again. Just a, that's them there. It's uh, handy. It's one bit of storage, outside storage. So that's them blue trims. You know, and uh, this then we got on eBay again uh, for the door. Y you stick it on the inside of the door, you know. And um, where we actually saw this and where we got the idea of it is we met people over in St. Paul de Leon. They were, they were an Irish couple and they had their daughter with them. I can't think of their names. And they had one on their camper van and we were admiring it. And they were telling us, you know, that you can get them on eBay. But, you know, they're a nice added feature onto the door of the camper van. So we'll see how Johnny's getting on now. Now, guys, Johnny have the old horn taken out. That's it there. Um, you have to go underneath the camper van to, to um, unscrew it out on a feed to cattle, whatever it's like on a, any other camper vans, I'm not, I'm not sure now, but so we're just going to install the new one now, wire it up and all that. So what Johnny's going to do now is solder these wires into, the, into these ones for the new horn. So that's what he's going to go at now. I'm going to get the stuff now, Pam, you'll be here. Right? Yep. Yeah, so that's what's going on there now. God, it's such a pity, lovely weather that we can't, we can't go anywhere. It's 25 degrees or something here today. We, we usually we would have been up in Killarney, uh, the Maybank holiday weekend, but because of the, the virus is still around, we we can't go anywhere. So roll on the 20th of July. And please God that this forest will be gone. And it won't be around for much longer. Wishful thinking though. 
So what Johnny is doing now is cutting the, the wires, cutting these off the wires, you know, these things, and putting on new ones, is it? Or soldering them together to make the horn, the, the sound of the horn. Now this is what it's like when you solder wires together. Yeah, it'll take a few minutes for the heat to, to start happening. It's kind of starting there now already. But yeah. So it's Johnny's DIY do-it-yourself replacing the horn and the motor home. So we'll come back then when it's all together. So when the soldering cools down, you put this these over it. This thing goes over it. Um, to protect it, is it, from the weather. Right. So that's that. So it's kind of nearly done, isn't it? Yeah. So this is the new fitting um, for the horn. It just plugs in. So that's that. Yeah. Now everyone, I don't know if you can see that now. You might be able to see Johnny down there. But uh, there's the new horn there. Where is it now? Right in there. Probably might be able to see it. So just tying it all back up together and that's it. Well, not tying it back together, but screwing it back together. <laughs> and we'll see what it sounds like. And uh, that'll be what it's like to install or replace a horn in your um, motorhome, feed the cattle. What else would you be doing on a lovely bank holiday May weekend that <laughs> we, we'd rather be up in the bike show in Killarney but that's, that's life now that's the horn done let's see what it sounds like oh my god Johnny it's not it's not working it's not going oh it's it's not it, it was switched off yay now it's working nice and loud so that's it everybody that's how to replace the horn in your motorhome. Thank you very much for watching and please like and share.